Hey, this video is about Halloween candy. You know, as a parent myself, there's nothing I hate more than receiving unsolicited parenting advice. It's just like super annoying. And the research on unsolicited advice, there is research on it actually. Unsolicited advice makes people feel like they are not doing a good job. That is a tangent, sorry. We're talking about Halloween candy here. And I just wanna say that I'm not here to tell you how to feed your kids or how to raise your kids because every kid is different. Thank you for listening. And if you are gonna to continue to listen to this, there is some research around you know, feeding kids, of course, and they have research around sort of candy and treats and things like that. And so I'm gonna talk about that. And I'll put these words best practices in air quotes uh, to respect the individual uh, context of different families and, and their children, because not everything is gonna work for every child. It's like that typically for human beings in general, but like for kids, it's like, it seems like there's more diversity in the behavior of children than adults, it seems like. I don't know. Without further ado, Halloween candy. So, <clears throat> as parents, we're playing the long game here. We're always playing the long game. It's like, oh yeah, we can let our kids like stay up late and watch like an action movie and stuff like that for like a short, you know, a little bit. It's like, oh, we're playing the long game. It's like, overall, they're gonna be fine. Yeah, we break a few rules here and there. Halloween candy is kind of like that. It can be like a bit mental for a while and then like a lot of their calories can be coming from candy for like a few days. But the, the research on this is actually pretty cool, pretty interesting, I think. The long game is we want our kids to have a good relationship with food. That's the long game, that's the win. Our kids have a good relationship with food and they don't have some sort of anxiety around treats or some like, you can't say addiction with food necessarily, but like they're not just like hyper obsessed with treats. Because if as parents we're like restricting those treats or limiting them excessively, the child can potentially grow up with that preoccupation with, with sweets. And that's not the long game. The long game is we want our kids to have good relationships with food and healthy bodies on the inside. So for Halloween candy, you're just supposed to like let the kids eat like as much as they want. Like the first night they bring it home, you just like let, it, let them just eat as much as they want. And then <laughs> when this the research says this, then like the next day they wanna have some candy as a treat, you just like, Okay, go for it. Here's your entire bag. Eat as much as you want. Literally, that's what the research says. I'm like, oh my God. I'm even like wincing like as I sort of say this because I don't want my kid to just eat like a big bag of candy. But what they have found is that children will learn to self-regulate that and they won't eat the entire bag of, of Halloween candy. Now, maybe a child in transition from being like restricted of candy to like having it for the first few years, they may... Uh, just go ham on it or like eat like the whole thing. But the research says, yeah, just give them as much as they want and they're gonna learn to regulate and they won't feel the, com the compulsion to eat it all. And so conversely, if we're overly restrictive with, with treats, some children can grow up to have preoccupation with treats, have trouble resisting them, uh, whine to get more, lie, cheat, steal, like these negative behaviors to get treats and get candy. Like Jerry Seinfeld says, we had one job as a child that was to get candy. That was their thing. Uh, and then these children that, you know, some of them that have been over restricted or whatever, they can overeat them. And then sometimes they'll feel ashamed about that. And that's just so sad. And then that dynamic can start to perpetuate into more treat eating. And then they become teenagers and have their own money. And then they can eat even more treats and then, you know, these kids are at risk of, you know, unhealthier outcomes. So the long game is we want our kids to have a good relationship with food. The short term thing of like just giving a child, like here's all your Halloween candy that you got, go self-regulate that. It's like, wow, uh, as a parent, that's, that can be challenging to just do, okay? But that's, that's what the research says. What we do in our family, I say, we eat balanced meals in this house. And you know, that's actually not what the research says. You're just, if you give your kid a balanced meal and they just eat the potatoes, you're not supposed to say anything that I do. I'm like, come on, like have a bite of your broccoli, have some chicken. Like I'm actually not supposed to say that. Um, but so I'm bending the rules a little bit there, fine. <clears throat> so day two of Halloween candy eating, if they, you know, want some more, you're just supposed to again say, okay, I go for it. Not like at dinner time, but like if it's like a snack or something, you, you know, you go whatever. 
try and have treats like as a family, like as a dessert, like you can announce like, we're all having dessert tonight, like as a family. That's a healthy way to go, according, like according to the research or whatever. Um, you know, you never want to be having a, like you put your kids to bed and then you get the ice cream out and then they come out of their bedroom and they catch you eating ice cream. It's like, they're like, what, what the fuck, dad? Like, yeah, that's, that's not good. Uh, so if you live in a condo, you gotta sort of be more careful about that. There's not as much like lead time between the door opening. But I digress. So those are the best practices for Halloween candy. You just sort of let it go and hope that they self-regulate and then eventually they will. And it might even take like a few years before the kids learn to self-regulate. But that's the long, that's the long win. That's the long game that we're trying to play here. I'd love to hear some comments, some experiences, some stories, you know, debates even. Um, I'd love to talk about it. So hit me up.